Hi and welcome to the Philosopher's Games. Obviously this video contains spoilers regarding the optional boss of the second Dark Souls 3 DLC, The Ringed City. Also this is a melee boss guide. After you beat Medir the first time, he falls down into a pit where you can fight him in a real boss fight. So how do you beat him there? Dark Eater Medir is a strange boss fight. On paper he is very easy, but some design decisions make him quite difficult. Let me give you a small breakdown. First, he has a lot of HP and his defense halves your damage on hit if you're not hitting his head. Second, his damage output is very high. Even with more HP, you often can't be hit more than three times. Usually you won't even survive two hits. Third, avoiding his high damage attacks is highly positioning dependent and the most annoying problem. Fourth, the camera. You need to learn to work around it. Almost all those problems have solutions. If you focus on hitting his head, you deal more damage. If you choose a weapon with a lot of damage on a single hit, his HP melt faster. If you don't lock in your camera and position yourself well, you get less camera problems. If you understand his attacks and recognize them early, you can avoid them easily by just moving correctly. The only thing that has not a good solution is the number of mistakes you are allowed to make until you die. Even with 40 vigor, you can take many hits. In my case, I'm getting one-shotted by some of his attacks, so having HP definitely helps, but not that much. With this said, it's important that you don't make more than one mistake in a row. With all that said, let's have a look at the solutions. My first advice for this boss fight, and I think this is the key to beat me dear, be patient. The fight is all about patience and not getting greedy. Focus his head and attack only once, maybe use the heavy attack. If you miss, you missed and just wait for the next attack. If you have to heal, heal instead of attacking and wait again for the next opportunity before you even think about attacking. When it comes to healing, his attacks do in most cases more damage than one Estus can heal. So in my case, if I want to be safe, I need to heal twice, even though the second heal is pretty wasted. Note that you can use multiple Estus while drinking by pressing the use item button multiple times during the drink animation. As mentioned, don't lock in the camera and attack only his head. Try to position yourself always in front of him. Some people try to run under him all the time, but in this case you have to learn recognizing what he is doing by just seeing his leg movement and camera problems. In my opinion that's a bit harder than staying in front of him and avoiding his attacks. Also you never want to be close to the arena's wall, avoid this at any cost. My last piece of advice before we look into his attacks, consider changing your weapon. I know this is probably a strange advice, but this DLC is full of upgrade materials. A weapon that hits hard with a single hit is much preferred here, because you can't hit him constantly, or you can, but then you run risk into getting hit. This will reduce the time it takes to beat him and as I explained in my A Closer Look at Difficulty video, this means less time for the player to make mistakes, but obviously it's still possible to beat him with any weapon. Let's look at his attacks. Note that this guide uses a strategy where you stay directly in front of Medir all the time if possible and if he jumps away you run with him. This allows you to see what he is actually doing. When you enter the boss arena for the first time, the fight does not start immediately. You have all the time you need. The fight starts if you walk past that little isle of corpse there. If you die and enter this boss fight for the second time, the fight will start instantly. But in both cases you have time to buff your weapon. Lightning will give you the highest damage output. Also, stamina is not that important here. He always starts the boss fight with fire spitting and starts to run at you while spitting fire. This attack is easy to dodge if you see it early and you let him pass by. You can try hitting his foot while he runs or run after him yourself. 
when he completes his attack he will turn around if you are still behind him. But the rotation axis is close to his head, at least when he has a space for it. So to reach the head you have to be quite fast and under him, but it's possible. Also be careful, pumping all your stamina into running and attacking will make you vulnerable to possible follow up attacks, so consider this. The safest way is to attack his foot, get in close and wait what he does next. Midir often uses his standard attack combo if you are in front of him. It is easily avoidable by simply rolling back several times and punishable. You don't even have to hurry. But be careful, he can make it a bit longer and faster. In the longer version now he slams his head on the ground at the end. You can hear him roaring when he does this, so you can differentiate the attacks. But it doesn't change much, just roll back a bit and hit him once. In rare cases he can add a fire breast to it, so look out for this and just dodge to the side. If you don't reach him in time, don't attack. Another punishable standard attack are his two big swing attacks. They are very slow and you have to dodge quite late. If you get the rhythm right you can also punish it easily. Midir also has a grab attack. He roars loud, opens his mouth and dashes at you. It's easy to recognize and you can avoid it by just running back. If you have the timing, rolling back in time to iframe it is also not that hard. Usually I combine both, running back and then rolling when he flies in my direction. It doesn't have any follow up so you can punish this attack easily. Then he has this attack where he bites two times while dashing a bit in your direction. After that he spits fire. You can dodge the bites by just rolling back but you should try hitting the right timing. After that you run a little bit left into the fire and roll through it. The hitbox of the fire is actually quite small. Only the timing can be a bit tricky and dependent on your position. If you manage to roll through it you can easily punish me dear. If you don't get the timing reliably just run back and the fire won't hit you, even if it looks like it. Then he has a charge attack. In my opinion this is one of his most dangerous attacks. You have to roll precisely else you get hit and it deals a lot of damage. Also he will dash over you which is dangerous because you don't see what he is doing plus annoying camera. In this situation consider running behind him, especially if he is close to the arena's wall because you would never want to fight close to the wall. But don't get too much distance, be close to his head when he turns around. If you are not close to the wall maybe try running to his head and if you were fast consider attacking once but it's risky. As you can see you don't see much and some of his follow ups can hit you easily and depending on the camera you don't even see them coming. The safest way would be running behind him. Speaking of behind him, he has a tail attack. It's easy to dodge and you can even outrun it if you were not too close. But be careful, it deals a lot of damage. Then he has two single fire breath AOE attacks where he hits the ground. Both are punishable but one is dangerous. The best attack is the one where he moves his head. The fire hitbox on the ground is gone very fast and you can just run through it and hit him. The other one needs precise positioning. He does not move his head while spitting fire on the ground in front of him until he starts firing an energy beam that he will move through the arena and the beam's path explodes after a short delay. This thing deals massive damage and one shots me. It's also quite hard to avoid because it's so fast. What you want to do is stand there where it can't hit you. Should you see this animation where he spits fire down on the ground in front of him you start getting close. Wait at the left side of it. Don't touch the fire so when he begins moving his beam it won't hit you. Now when the fire fades a bit roll straight forward a few times and then walk or run to his head. When it comes down hit him.
And that is how you deal with his beam attack. He also has his crazy laser beam attack in his second phase. It's rare when you stay close to him. If you stay under him, it also won't hit you. After the attack he lays on the ground exhausted for some time and that is a good opportunity to hit him. Then he can fly up and change his position or fly and spit fire. Just run to the left and maybe roll one time when the fire gets close. It won't hit you if you are not too far away. Then run into his direction and if you are close enough to where he lands you can hit him once. He always lands to his right at the end of his flight. If you get him down to 50% his second phase starts where he gets some new attacks. I think there are about 4. It always starts with the same attack. He roars, channels and creates an explosion. He can also do this attack during the second phase at will. The radius of it is not too big and the damage comes quite delayed. Just run or roll away a bit and start running back to him. It's highly punishable. It always feels like it slows your movement but if you are close to a set this won't be a problem. Should it hit you it deals a lot of damage. It also one shots my character. And as you can see in the footage you don't have to be too impressed by the particle effects. After a short time you can just run into it without taking damage. The other attack is a bit similar. He channels, roars and summons those homing missiles. He can also end some attack combos with it. The best way to avoid it is wait a moment, maybe hit him once and run under the dragon. Maybe roll at the end once. The dangerous part of this technique is his follow up. If he does his AOE explosion again while you are under the dragon you are screwed. So I prefer to run away from him. Go a little bit right and try to dodge as many as possible and maybe eat a hit or two. You can't really punish here and should carefully look at what he's doing next while you dodge. There is a second variant of this attack where he summons those homing missiles but they fly a bit up into the air before they chase you. I think this is easier to avoid, just run under them and roll a bit. Look what he's doing next, don't punish here. And I think that are almost all his attacks. I skipped a few because they are very similar or very rare. But basically you wait for him to attack, recognize his attack and except for maybe 3 exceptions dodge then just hit him once with a heavy attack and wait for his next attack. Repeat until he's dead. You won't beat him first try because it takes some time to recognize those attacks but once you have this and some patience he is actually quite easy. I hope this guide helps you. If you liked it consider following me on Twitter for updates or do the YouTube things. Thank you for watching and goodbye.